Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. It's Indigo here with Indigo Goddess 1111 and bringing you your May 2018 channel messages from Spirit. So um, your guys' main theme of your reading is balance. Um, I keep seeing the number six. So to me that is releasing your fear, releasing your fear, embracing your trust, and just finding balance between the spiritual and the material. So big month for you, Leos. A lot of success coming to you this month. Um, this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> but um, especially if this is your sun sign. If this uh, is your moon, rising, or Venus, make sure you check your sun sign as well. So... Um, Uranus is moving into Taurus this month. Um, it is the first time in 80 some years. So unless you were born in 1930 and watching this, um, chances are you have not lived through the um, transit of Uranus into Taurus. So big, big changes for everybody. Um, there's just going to be a major shift in, in energy. And we're really going to feel it like the third and fourth weeks of May. So just be conscious of this. Um, it is going to help you stick to different routines. So if there's a routine that you wanted to um, wanted to start, or you know, like uh, changing your diet, or changing your exercise routine, or changing your um, just your daily routine, this energy is going to help you stick to that. Um, for a lot of you this month, you are going to become a whole new sense of enlightened. Um, you guys are going to have a lot of spiritual downloads this month, uh, mostly in your sleep and during meditation, but you're going to get downloads throughout the day just at the most random times. You're going to be able to answer your own questions that you have been questioning for quite some time now. Uh, for a group of you, you're going to start questioning your relationships, um, mostly your love relationships. And for you guys, all these feelings of confusion and like questioning and all that, they, they're going to come to surface and you're going to have to dig deep into your emotions, into your soul, into your past, your history um, to really sort through these feelings because it's going to bring on such a sense of confusion, but it's for the best. It's going to help you, um, figure out what needs to be thrown out and what needs to be saved. Uh, yeah, you're really, I just see you guys really digging deep for a group of you. You're trying to find your balance between emotions and life. You're trying to figure out how to balance loving someone else and loving yourself. Um, how to, you know, really set your boundaries um, within your relationships to where you're not compromising your self-worth, your self-value to make someone else happy. And you guys are really trying to figure out that balance. I do see a lot of you finding success in this and, um, yeah, yeah. A lot of you will be finally figuring out how to do this. Um, a group of you, you're going to come up with this great idea and it's going to bring a new excitement to the air. It's going to give you a whole new sense of passion to drive forward. Um, this has to do with your life's purpose. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just going to bring a whole new, um, a whole new platform to your life. Uh, a whole new like networking to people. Like you're going to meet people you've never met before. You're going to have contacts that you've never um, even dreamed of having. Um, and it's all coming to you because you're going to get this great idea, this spark of idea, and it's going to be the middle of May. So I would say the 13th to the 16th, um, maybe even to the 18th, uh, this idea is going to come to you. You're 
you're um, embracing a new energy that's around you guys. Uh, you guys are really going to have this energy of productivity around you. You're going to get things done. You're going to start projects and finish them. You're going to finish up projects that you started a long time ago. You are just um, completing a lot of things this month. Uh, a group of you, you have a lot of big changes coming this month. Um, it's like you're, you're entering, it's like you guys are entering a new dimension. Like your energies are changing your, um, big changes, like in your whole life, like in your whole area of life. Yeah. It's like, you guys are having a whole paradigm shift, like big, big changes for a group of you. This is going to bring confusion. For another group of you, it'll bring excitement. For another group, it'll bring hurt. For another group, it'll bring healing. I mean, it's just everybody is um, is going to be facing changes this month of May. Uh, for a group of you, you're having skin issues uh, like rashy, uh, red skin. Um, the month of May, you're gonna your skin's going to be very sensitive. Um, try avoiding using perfume perfumed soaps. And, uh, but yeah, it's nothing to be concerned about. I don't know why that came to me, but, um, if you have red rashy skin, try coconut oil on it and avoid perfumed soaps. Obviously I'm not a doctor. So if you feel that it is not just your common dry skin rash, um, of course, seek medical attention. Um, So for a group of you, May 8th is going to be a big day. You're going to realize something. And by you realizing this, you're, you're going to realize that it's time to make big changes. Um, for a group of you, you're very scared. You're scared of the uncertainty. You're scared about the future. You're scared to move forward. Don't be scared. Um, fear is paralyzing you and it's only going to make you stagnant in the energy that you're not meant to be in. So even if you move at a snail's pace, continue to move forward because the minute you stop and think about it and get in your head about it, the, is the, um, is the minute that you're going to get stuck and you're going to be there longer than what you want to be longer than what you're intended to be. And, um, and it's not going to benefit you. So keep moving forward. Um, for a group of you, you're getting in news and this news is going to help you, um, kind of wrap your head around something that's really been bothering you. It's also going to help settle down your emotions. You, this is something that you've been racking your brain of something that you've been um, constantly thinking about, worrying about, losing sleep about. You're going to get news in around May 10th, um, May 13th for some of you, depending on where you're at in the world. This news is going to settle you down. This news is going to bring a sigh of relief and, um, for some of you, the news may not be something you want to hear, but it's going to help you finally be at peace with uh, what is going on. This has to do with a relationship. You're wondering about somebody coming back, somebody moving on. What are they doing? Where are they at? Um, you're going to get news of this. Uh, for a group of you, you guys are planning vacations or trips. Um you guys are going to realize something on these trips. You guys are going to come across something, some, something in like mother nature. It's all going to come to you. You're going to get that download. And it's because you're grounded with the earth, with mother nature. Um, so if you're planning like backpacking in the mountains or going to see a, you know, waterfall or going to, Something like that. It's um, something in nature. Those are the two scenes I'm seeing. Um, it's all just going to hit you all at once. 
and it's just going to instantly bring you joy. It's going to give you a calmness that it's really going to work out. It's really going to be okay. Um, I see these trips in the month of May towards the end. So like the 24th through the 30th is when I see you guys on these trips. And it's just going to bring you such a beautiful energy surrounding you that you can't help but just feel a sense of peace, um, peace outside of you, within you, and it's giving you hope for the future. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for another group of you, you guys have a, a life lesson coming towards you. Um, this is around the, the uh, third week of May, around May 18th is what I'm seeing in particularly. Um, this is, you're going to hear something about somebody or somebody is going to actually do something um, that's going to, it's going to teach you a lesson. You are meant to come into contact with this person. This person is meant to be in contact with you. Um, to learn a lesson, to teach a lesson. This is a very greedy person. This is somebody that is not somebody that you necessarily want in your energy um, because you know how they are. You know this person already, um, but something's going to come to light of something that they did to you or on that day or something's going to happen that day. And it's going to allow you to learn your lesson and you are then going to be able to cut away from that energy that for some reason you've been kind of um, tug, you know, playing tug of war with back and forth. So like, you know, like, you know, should I allow them in my life? Should I kick them out of my life? Should I, you know, that type of tug of war? Um, it's going to shut the book on that chapter. It is going to allow you to move forward successfully and without that um, toxic energy, um, in your space. Now the 26th, I see for a group of you, um, you have a, you hold on. Okay. You're going to be tested. Um, this is a test uh, that is meant for you to see where you're at in your progression. It's going to be a test in the form of temptation, and it's going to test whether you will successfully um, do what is best for you, and um, and that is your. It's a test before something comes back to you. Um, for a group of you, you're dealing with somebody who is really like egotistical, like really into themselves, really into their, their looks, their success in the job area. Um, this is for a group of you, you work with this person and they're the type of person that when they walk by, like they think that just the sun is shining around them. Um, they're going to kind of have a, uh, a crash in ego because something is going to be pointed out to them, uh, that they're not all that try to with a uh, hold from being one of them that is there laughing at their situation or rubbing it in their face or whatever have you make sure that you take the higher road and still treat this person with respect, even if they have, um, kind of tried your patience in the past. Uh, this is also a test in your um, humility, your um, compassion to other people, your, yeah. Um, treat this person as you would want to be treated and you will be rewarded um, in some form for being a decent person. Um, even though you, you know, they're the, that type of person where you just kind of want to chuckle under your breath, um, try to refrain from that. 
Uh, for a group of you, take all the time you need to heal. Take all the time you need to find clarity. Take all the time you need, period. Don't rush into anything. It's not a race. Um, enjoy the journey and don't rush. Slow down is what I'm hearing. Um, make sure you're living in the here and now for a group of you because that's where you're going to find joy. That's where you're going to find happiness. If you're looking to the past, you're going to find misery. If you're looking to the future, you're going to miss the present day. So make sure you're living in the here and now and you'll find happiness. You're worrying too much about your future. You're worrying too much about somebody coming back or um, getting that promotion or, or whatever um, your situation is. Just stop worrying. What's meant for you is coming for you. So um, don't forget about the blessings in your daily life. Uh, for a group of you, you're dealing with a relationship where it looks like they're ghosting you. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're being ghosted. This is because something that happened between the two of you, an outside party has exaggerated the situation, uh, blew, blown it out of proportion. And so that person that isn't talking to you right now, this could be a friend, family, lover, whatever, whoever is uh, ignoring your text messages, um, that's because an outside party has filled their head with um, exaggerations. They're blowing this whole situation out of proportion and they're listening to that other person. Give it time. Um, you don't have to keep texting them because the truth is going to come out and they're going to realize that, uh, that there was no reason to ghost you and they will return to you. I'm seeing around May 26th. They're going to come back and apologize to you for the way they have treated you because this truth is going to come out. Um, for another group of you, you have new love coming in uh, in the second to third week of May, right right before the, um, the full moon. Yeah. You guys are meeting somebody uh, through either a mutual friend or family. They are introducing you uh, in some kind of, I'm not sure exactly where this is, but it's around other people. It's like you bump in, like what I'm seeing is that you guys are like bumping into each other at a store, like a grocery store or a, you know, a variety store. And, you know, the person you're with is going to be like, oh, have you met so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. That person um, is going to bring you happiness, surprised happiness. You are doubtful and you are dreading about giving this person a chance. You're dragging your feet about, you know, going out for coffee with this person or whatever. Go ahead and do it because this person is going to bring you such joy and happiness and um, it's going to help you heal. Also, even if you just remain friends, this person is going to bring you healing. Um, they are... For a group of you, they are a fire sign male. If you are interested in women, they are a water sign female. So, um, yeah, it's just really cute energy. It's really neat. Uh, for a group of you, you guys are finding your life partners. Um, this month, I'm seeing many different situations. So, um, really just get out there because, yeah, I'm just seeing so many different for a group of you, you are um, going to like some kind of retreat. This is like a, a wellness retreat where you're going to like learn yoga and different ways of meditation. Um, you are going to find a soulmate there. And this is such a beautiful energy. Um, so if you have the opportunity to go to a wellness retreat, do it. Um, for those of you who are in a marriage and you suspect a third party, um, if you are a Leo sun and you are married to a Taurus or an Aries sun and you suspect they're cheating, they're not cheating. Um, there is a third party meddler, but this is non-sexual. 
this is like their best friend telling them things to put a rift between you or your brother-in-law is telling somebody, you know, to put a rift. This is not a sexual partner. So there is a third party meddler, but it is not cheating. It's not what you think it is. Um, your spouse is going to figure this out on their own. Um, and they are going to figure out who's really on their side and not, and it's going to be okay. You guys are going to work this through. You're going to work it out. The truth always comes to the surface and, um, they will be enlightened this month. You guys have been, uh, struggling since August or September of 2017 they this month are becoming enlightened. They are realizing the truth and, um, and it's going to work out for you guys. For those of you who are going through, um, divorces right now, and there is a custody battle over children. Um, be careful what you say in front of these children. I'm seeing, uh, the couples fighting and the children are in their rooms with the door shut, but they can hear every word you say. Um, so be careful, be mindful of what you guys say. Um, also for a group of you, um, your children could be feeling possibly like left out or like you guys, um, could be concentrating on this, your core and you're stressed out. Um, make sure you take a couple minutes out of the day to see how they're feeling as well. Cause I see for, if you have teenage children, especially, um, they're having a hard time dealing with this, this as well. So just be mindful of that. That's not for everybody. So please don't get offended and write me about how you do pay attention to your children and all that stuff. It's not for everybody. If that's not you, that's not you. Um, for those of you who are in separation from a twin flame and have been separated since um, anywhere from August to December of last year, those twin flames are going to make contact with you. Um, they're still stuck though. They're not, they're not leaving their spouse or that third party. Um, just be patient. Uh, I see by July, uh, a major shift in those twin flame relationships will be um, moving toward, back towards their divine partner. For those of you who are unable to move on um, from a past relationship, there's a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal, and you just are having a hard time getting over that. Um, ask your angels for help. It is time to put that behind you and move forward because you have soul, a soulmate waiting for you. If you have not met the soulmate before, the soulmate is going to bring you such a beautiful energy, and it's going to show you what true love and happiness is all about, but you have to heal from that past relationship. Um, spirit is also saying to take a trip. If this is your, um, you who I'm talking about, take that trip, take, just be one with, with nature. Um, even if it's just taking a walk for a couple hours, you know, in a, on a, a nature's path or whatever, just get out there and talk to your higher power, um, talk to your angels, ask them for help and healing, uh, because you have a beautiful soulmate relationship just around the corner. They're here. They're waiting for you to move forward healed so they can come into your life. Um, keep your thoughts positive. Also, uh, there's a lot of negative, um, thoughts going on. And that is what we manifest as you know, our thoughts become a reality um, the last week of May, um, May 27th is really sticking out right now. Promotions. People are getting job promotions. This is something that you not, didn't think was coming. It is yours. It is coming. You will be successful. Um, for a group of you, it's going to sound really weird, but if you are concerned about being like prosecuted or being brought in front of a judicial system, everything's going to work out. Okay. For you they're going to, uh, vote in your favor, or, you know, the law is going to be on your side. Um, you're not going to, uh, sorry, my dog's whining. You're not going to, um, face, I'm seeing jail time. So that's obviously that's not for everybody. Um, 
really just the overall uh, energy in May is to live your life. Um, you're wanting happiness. You're wanting freedom. You're wanting from freedom from this feeling. Just um, really get out there and live. And your energy field is just going to start um, start having a change in the month of May. Everybody's energy is just really, really um, changing. There's a group of you that are frustrated, angry, um, contemplating, you know, what is this going on in my head? Why am I thinking this way? Why am I feeling this way? Um, that is going to come to an end. You're going to be looking for the truth. Once again, speak to your higher power. The truth is within you and you know the answer. Um, also speak your truth. If there's something that you know that's going on or something that you're dealing with, um, just speak your truth and live your truth and there'll be nothing to worry about. Um, there are secrets that are being either kept or you're the ones keeping them. Um, make sure when you, um, when these secrets come out, don't get like stuck in your imagination. Don't like, uh, make them bigger than what they are. Just, um, take those secrets and know that it's making a stronger you. Some of them may be hard to hear. Some of them you've seen come in. Some of them you're blindsided, but it's all part of making you stronger and all lessons in life, um, that were, that we have to live or learn. Just don't get stuck in your thoughts about them. Um, just let them go and, and move on. Uh, for a group of you, these coming out are really going to allow yourself to be freed. They're really going to allow you to move on, move forward and, and make a better life for you. For a group of you, you're moving, you're changing countries. Um, some of you are just moving to the next town, but I see new homes. I see new jobs, new friendships, um, new networks, uh, new, just new. The month of May is just new energy and newness, you know, just don't be scared to try it. Don't be scared to do it. Life's about failure. And once in a while we succeed, but in that failure is where we learn our greatest lessons. So make sure you're not scared to, to take a chance to move to that next town, to try that new job, to give that person a chance. Um, cause you're going to be really surprised in the month of May. Uh, yeah, Leo, I'm just really excited for you guys. You're finally having big moves. You guys have been um, kind of asking yourself, what's next? Why aren't we progressing to the next stage? Why aren't we doing this? May, hold on, because there are big energy shifts. There's big life transitions. There's big movement. And um, you're really going to have to kind of hold on to your horses. So um, I think that's all I got for you guys. Uh, yeah, just release your fear and embrace your future. And things are going to work out beautifully for you. So I hope you guys have a wonderful month of May. I hope you enjoyed your channeled messages from spirit. And as always, I wish you love, light, and God bless.